Alrighty guys, so right now it is Saturday, November 7th, and it's pretty much like around 8.30, 8.40ish right now in the morning. And after what, it's been, it's been a solid four, well, it's been like pretty much almost four days. But finally, the beginning of the fourth day of counting the votes for the election, we finally got the president-elect of the United States of America, the 46th president, Joseph R. Biden. Finally, after all of this stress that I had to go through, like, like guys, I couldn't even focus on any of my college work for like the past week because I've mainly literally just been following the election, following the status of the different states, the electoral, uh, electoral college votes and everything like that. And finally, after all that time, we're finally done with it. And literally like, and guys, like literally like every single like newscast, like uh, MSNBC, CNN, CBS, PBS, like all of these places are already calling for Joe Biden. So finally... It is done. Joseph R. Biden is going to be the next president. And I'm finally just relieved that, you know, we're finally done with this. Alrighty guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be going behind the scenes of the podcast. So if you guys saw in the previous video, um, I introduced you to the host, uh, the second host of the podcast, Uncle P is the one behind the camera right now. Um, but today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a bit more behind the scenes if you guys are interested exactly how everything works, the lighting setup, the mics, you know, computer, everything like that. If you guys also maybe want to start your own podcast, you can kind of get like a idea of how we do it here. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes of how this thing works. So first we'll talk about the mic since that's the most important thing with a the podcast. These are the blue snowball microphones. So these ones, they're not super expensive. I think they're like 40, 50 bucks each. So if you guys want like a good starter uh, microphone to go for, I would highly recommend these. They're not the best, but you know, when it comes to being on a budget and you know, kind of just like starting off, uh, working with a podcast, it's always good to kind of go on a lower budget, uh, kind of like understand how the equipment works in general. And then we have these headphones here. Uh, this is my headphone, this is the Surface headphones too. Uh, Sankol brought his own headphones because, you know, COVID, I don't want to give in my, uh, like any set of my headphones. Um, so this is pretty much so that we can listen to our audio while we're recording the podcast. So like we can make sure that everything sounds good and uh, it gives us it gives us like a different experience as well, kind of just like listening to our voices instead of like hearing other distracting things. Because even when Sunkop and I were having these podcasts, like I think my parents were like making some noise in the kitchen. So having like these headphones on definitely like helps being more uh, present in the environment. Now when it comes to recording the podcast with the video portion, now again, podcasting isn't necessarily a video platform first. Um, it's more audio. So definitely you want to make sure that you guys are more focus on audio before you go into video. But if you guys are curious of how we film it, right now we are, uh, this video is shot on the main camera. This right here is the Canon EOS R5 with the RF15 35. It's a pretty expensive camera, so I don't recommend it for beginners. But again, like you guys can go for, you know, like a more budget camera, like, you know, some like the Sony A6000 series, which are like, you know, four or $500, nothing too, super expensive. Um, so again, if you guys want to start off with something, start off with that. Um, but if you guys kind of know how to work with video cameras, you know, the different frame rates, uh, shutter speed, ISO, things like that, you guys can go into this camera. Um, but for the Canon EOS R5, since, since it can only record 30 minutes each time, um, technically it's, you know, best if you have a cameraman behind the camera to make sure that it's recording the whole time. Um, so instead of having a cameraman, we have this thing right here. This is the Atomos Ninja 5. So this just pretty much makes the camera record into a storage that's on the back of the monitor so that instead of having only like 30 minutes worth of recording, you can record like indefinitely until your storage gets filled up back here. So definitely it is a useful uh, monitor and external recorder to have. And I highly recommend it for, you know, those people that have cameras that can only do 30 minutes each. And then behind we have our second angle camera right here. This is the Sony A6000. So this is a camera that I'd probably recommend most people to get since it is pretty budget. I think it's like three, four hundred dollars. So it's not super expensive. And again, you can have um, some, you know, high end uh, features such as uh, manual focus and other manual features. So highly, highly recommend that. And then right here we have our light. This is pretty much like a generic softbox. I think this is by Westcott. So if you guys want to have like a good lighting setup, I highly recommend picking up one of these soft boxes. Um, but again, like people have also made like their own uh, version of these things. Like they've went to like Home Depot and made like their own soft box. So again, you don't necessarily have to go out there and buy like all these super expensive lights, but there's always ways to make a budget version of it. And then I think the last thing is right over here, which is <laughs> this wallpaper. So this wallpaper, um, it's not super cheap. It's uh, it was a bit pricey, but it's probably like one of the best things to get, especially if you don't have like, you know, 
like a colored wall or anything that you know gives more contrast for your video. So definitely getting something like a Savage uh, Savage seamless post uh, paper pretty much makes it uh, easier to you know have a smooth background. So it actually looks like a wall, but in reality it's just you know pretty much just paper behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, it definitely gives a nicer uh, vibe on set. And also it kind of creates like this little studio space, which uh, both Sunko and I really like. So definitely if you guys want to have like a studio like setup, I think it's you know important to have something like this in the background. Um, and besides that, I think that's gonna do it for the behind the scenes of the podcast. So I hope you guys liked um, pretty much how we record this. And also I hope you guys got a little bit more information of how you know we pretty much film. And also on my YouTube channel too, it's very similar, especially with this camera and the Atomus Ninja 5. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this one and that's gonna do it for us on this video. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.